here's here's my plan. Okay, I want to talk for just a second about um, immunity. I'm going to show you two little quick YouTube videos, and then I'm going to give you an <coughs> opportunity to work uh, on your group assignment. And and I had some really great conversations with some people earlier today um, about their uh, research. So um, that's going to be our plan. The thing that I posted, that's what we're going to be working on, and that'll be due on Monday. But I'm going to give you all Monday to work on it too. Okay, so like. Don't freak out, okay? But I want to have conversations too a lot with you on Monday. I'm going to pop around and I'll tell you more about that later. Um, <laughs> sorry, I saw an email from a Kinzenmeyer butt muscle. Uh, let me take attendance here. Oh, Kinsey, I love her. She's an ordinary one. Um, Who's more ornery? Oh boy, that's a good me. question. I think it's you. Yep. I think you take the cake. For, for everybody. For, for most, I would say. Emma's not here today? Yeah, I told you she's in the bathroom. Oh, she's in the bathroom. Gotcha. She's right there. Gotcha. All right. So let me um, let me show you a couple different things. First of all, if you did the color, every that did the coloring, we're going to uh, why is this not? Been having technology issues today. Technical difficulties. Uh, I don't know what the deal is. I think, I think this. Sometimes I do believe that the sun comes out and then it makes the internet go bad. But maybe Brain's that's going wild. I want to go. I want to leave. Okay. Thank you, Matthew, for the pop. Um, all right. So if you did the coloring book assignment, and I'll pass this back in a bit, and, and I, every we are going to uh, continue to look at these. But uh, the top part of it was different than the bottom part, okay? And on your color book assignment, it said at the top, natural immunity. At the bottom, it said um, acquired immunity, okay? In the notes, we've got two terms, adaptive and innate, okay? So at the top, there was a picture of a person and their finger was getting stabbed with a splinter. Okay, that was the natural immunity because we had these like cells that were coming to eat the bacteria. I mean, they, I know, like some people are like, oh, you can't really have too much bacteria on that. I'm like, I swear to right? Do a, a guy once, well, I didn't really know him uh, personally, but like went camping, okay, felt something in his ear, grabbed a stick, stuck the stick in his ear, okay, and moved around to get the thing out. By the way, things like to go in ears. I don't know if you know this, but like I've known multiple people that have been like riding bikes or running. I don't know if any runners in here, like like moths will like literally fly into your ear, okay? And they'll bear, burrow. Like you can hear them like, it's like your own little ASMR right, right there in your ear, okay? And then you have to go in there like and get them removed, right? This guy felt something, so he thought, oh, I'll take a stick. The thing that entered his ear wasn't the problem. The stick poked his skin. The stick had a staphylococcus on it and ate half of his face. Like, no joke. Yeah, so don't stick your, yeah. Like, I mean, bacteria, there's a lot of good bacteria out there, but there's some nasty ones too. Like, Seth. Or your My your actual mom. mom. Let's not get started on your mom. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I still was like, that. Hot sweats from all that conversation. All right, now, <laughs> now natural immunity is that adaptive? Oh, do you think boy. or innate? Which one do you think is natural immunity? By looking at just the definition, natural immunity. Nice guess. It is innate. Okay, so as, have you ever heard like someone say like they have an innate ability to like do something like? I don't know, maybe fix stuff or like maybe like people will say, oh, they're just a natural at like something, right? That's the I'm same natural thing. at a lot of things. <laughs> I don't want to know. Okay, it, so no memory. These these guys just go out and kill the bad guys. Adaptive is the same as acquired, okay? It changes. Your immune system has changed over time. Our immune systems are changing. My mine changed two weeks ago when I got the, the virus uh, shot. Okay, the vaccine. Okay, we'll talk about that in a quick second. So uh, here's a little random trivia. This has been one of my favorite videos for a really long time. It came out 
uh, in 2009. I think it's the best explanation of how the flu works. <laughs> and uh, Greta came in here third period and said that her husband, Dino, went to college with the guy who's talking, his son. And I'm sure I met the guy because I, I hung with Dino I met the guy. when he was in college. But uh, what's that? I met the guy. <laughs> Is it me? Hi, 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 hi. Lana, Sky, Raven. Okay, you want to just go right now? Go right now because otherwise. We might get Raven, the heck out Sky. of here is what he said. Lana Banana's not here. Oh, there she is. She's not in her seat. I couldn't see you. So, here we go. You're my Down, girl. So let's say that this guy has the flu, could be any flu, and here's a droplet from his sneeze containing, if we move in and take a really close look, you see each one of those little purple things is a virus. And there are a lot of viruses floating through the air, some of which go inevitably up this unfortunate man's nose. How did that die feel when you ripped off half of his face? It was interesting because we did it while he was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am talking with medical illustrator David Belinsky, who designed this video for Zyrus, a research company. So here comes the virus, and it's going to land on one of this guy's throat cells. So notice it's covered with little yellow knobby things. You, you call these keys, right? Those are the keys. Yeah, this is a key, this is a key, this is a key. Okay, if the keys on this virus happen to fit the locks, which are those little uh, purpley stick up things on the surface of the cell, if there is a match, the cell, watch this, welcomes the virus in. And what's this? This is a welcoming committee. They all interlock with each other and they pull this membrane down into the cell and down it goes deeper and deeper and that welcoming structure disperses and the virus capsule bursts and out comes the secret recipe for how to make more viruses and those little noodly things. So this unsuspecting cell has been tricked into guiding these virus recipes right into its own command center, the nucleus. So in they go. And they are immediately recognized by this big pink molecule, which is a mini factory. Yeah, what is it doing? It threads the nuclear material, the, the instruction code of the virus, through one hole, and out another hole comes a brand new instruction set. So it's a copying machine making copy after copy after copy of virus recipes, which then go out of the nucleus to little chefs, those blue peanutty things. They cook up proteins that go back into the nucleus where they are reassembled into baby viruses and then out they go. They get covered up and head to the surface where they get new keys and then boom, here they come. This is an eruption of virus after virus after virus after. These little guys are the most important little things, I think, okay? They're like that signal, like this is me. Well, only one virus entered the cell, but how many came out? Well, millions, millions. So if one virus can produce a million babies and do it again and again and again, how come this guy doesn't? I didn't say this earlier, but think about this, okay? All those little guys are, are coming in there. Don't forget your adenoids back here to trap some of those little guys. Don't forget your lingual tonsils to trap some of these guys. And also the tonsils in your palatine right here to trap some of these guys. Okay, that's the goal, right? Obviously some are gonna get in, but we wanna trap them here, here, and here. If we don't, then we could do this next thing. It doesn't just drop dead, I don't know, in like 10 minutes. Well, because you have about 100 trillion cells. I see. So a million viruses is just a drop in the bucket when you have a hundred trillion cells. And anyway, remember you do have your own immune system, which when it sees a virus, usually I don't like that sound, but uh, it is effective, right? So this is that first thing that you colored, those big cells. Okay, that's eating the bad guy. That's the bad guy. And you have tons of those that'll do that. Oh no. Oh. That's all right. We'll go back here to this little guy. So multiply fast with any luck, your immune system will work just a little faster. So yes, viruses, all viruses want to spread. That's what they do. But most of the time we do keep them in check. Most of the time.
Okay, now, so what about, what about some like, and it is interesting, flu levels are down this year. Okay, some people in first period wanted to debate me about this, and, and that's fine, I'm up for that. Okay, but uh, I, I do think that a lot of it's hygiene, you know, a lot, a lot of it is mm -hmm. the fact that we've stayed away from people, you know, that we haven't been around. We're not spreading, okay? It'd be interesting to look at some of that data, you know, five, 10 years from now. What's that? Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. So let's look at like so. So I got the I got the vaccine, and uh, let me add this real quickly. I thought I'd save this to anatomy, but I don't think I did. Oh, by the way, uh, do you see this? We're gonna take a St. Patty's Day quiz next week. I love St. Patty's Day. Just to let you know, it'll be fun. It's all for fun. Just humor me. Natural grade. I need to. I need. I need to do it for my own psyche. Um, no, not for grades. Just for fun. Uh, so here's the vaccine. Let's take a look at this and let's talk. About RNA it. or mRNA to deliver immunity. mRNA authorization of two COVID-19 vaccines are determined. No, of course we have three. In the pandemic yeah, and vaccine science, these vaccines use messenger RNA or mRNA to deliver immunity. mRNA are short strands of instructions used to build proteins. It's impossible for these mRNA vaccines to alter our DNA in any way. Although that technology has been in development for decades, mRNA vaccines hadn't made it to market until now. There are a few ways to make a vaccine. Most use a version of the pathogen they are trying to protect you against, like the flu or measles, to trigger an immune response. What's HPV? You've got a human papillomavirus. Okay, uh, some girls in here, you may have gotten Gardasil. It is a vaccine, it's three shots. It helps you uh, from getting uh, cervical cancer from HPV. Now get this, when I first, yeah, first started teaching, like they were like, okay, like maybe like you'll get HPV. Then they went to like one in three people have HPV. And now the CDC says pretty much everybody's going to have HPV at one point in their life. Okay. It's what it does once it enters your body. And sometimes your body like gets rid of it. Okay? It's not like for, for life sort of thing. But if you're a girl and you get it, and it is sexually transmitted, um, uh, it can be caused by a, uh, or it can cause cervical cancer. And, and that can cause death. This is why you want to get a pap smear. When you become sexually active or when you turn 21, you want to do that about every three years. We'll talk more about pap smears later. Okay, but look, we've been doing this. This Gardasil has been around since I think I want to say like 2003, 2004. Okay, so it's been it's been around for a while. Okay, mRNA. You can think of vaccines like a biological wanted poster. They show our bodies how to recognize the enemy an antigen, such as a harmful virus or bacteria, so we know how to react if it ever shows up. Our bodies will be prepared to send T cells to attack infected cells and B cells to produce antibodies, which neutralize the virus and prevent it from invading healthy cells. mRNA vaccines use innovative technology to deliver protection. If traditional vaccines deliver wanted posters, these vaccines carry USB drives with instructions that tell our cellular machinery how to print its own poster. In other words, they instruct the body to make its own antigens. In the case of the coronavirus, the antigen is the infamous spike protein that attaches. Remember, antigens were like uh, all those little pokes on people's backs yesterday. Okay, that's like the signal like, hey, we got to take care of this thing. Let's get those B cells, T cells, those memory cells to like go in and attack it and kill it. Let's get that to get rid of that thing. Just to infest your cells. These vaccines use mRNA, a molecule that our cells need to create any type of protein to introduce us to that spike. To start, Researchers isolated the part of the coronavirus's genetic sequence that codes for the spike protein. Then they put an mRNA molecule containing the code into a super tiny drug delivery system known as a lipid nanoparticle, which can enter our cells. Inside the cell, 
Ribosomes use the code to create a protein chain that resembles the enemy, the coronavirus' spike protein. Those cells can then temporarily display a lookalike of that protein, which prompts our immune cells to respond as if it were an antigen from a traditional vaccine. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, so remember, mRNA is the one that like goes into the DNA and in, into the nucleus to take the copy out. Yeah, I like to think about it as like getting a girl's number from the bar. You know, I got the number. Okay, that's the DNA, but I want the girl, right? So I got to call the number. How am I going to do that? mRNA will allow me to do that, but the protein is the girl. That's what I want, right? And in this case, that mRNA is telling it to make that spike protein so that all of our nice little antibodies, and macrophages, and T cells will go after it and say, like, cool, let's get this, let's kill it. Okay, y'all with me on this? I like the, both those videos. All right, go ahead and open up this document real quick, and I'll tell you what we're going to do the rest of the period. Hey, also side note, if anybody's bored uh, this weekend, <laughs> well, I've got, uh, so and especially if you're thinking about taking AP Environmental Science this year, um, we, every three, three to five years, we've been burning the prairie at the Church of the Brethren. If you don't know where the Church of the Brethren is, it's, uh, it's on the corner of, uh, here's Beckley Street, okay, so the high school's right here. Okay, and then here's Highway 13, right here. Y'all with me on this? Okay, and so the prairie is on Highway uh, uh, 13. We, we did this, uh, oh gosh, it's been like six years ago now. The church approached us and said, hey, we'd like to get rid of this, this turf grass, maybe we'll build a prayer. So if you want, meet me right here, this is on the northeast corner at two o'clock tomorrow, we're gonna burn it. We're gonna set it on fire. I'm gonna drive past you guys. Okay, and, uh, and so it should be good times. Okay. I have to work. Uh, uh, no, tomorrow at two. I'll bring them out of here. I know it's kind of short notice. I have no control over it, but there you go. I wanted to throw it out there because uh, we won't do this home. every single year. What's that, eh? I'm gonna drive by. Yeah, honk at me, man. Two o'clock. We're gonna burn a prairie down. If you want to swing by. Uh, okay, so here's what I want you to do. A couple of these questions are pretty easy. Okay, what's your section? Okay, number two, what's the main point you want students to know about your entire paper? This you can work uh, with as a group. Ultimately, okay, so I debate how, how am I going to deliver this to you? Okay, I thought like, okay, I'll create these little groups and they blah, blah, blah. I decided to just make a copy for everybody and you could share information via email don't try to like ask me to share this because this goes to me and then I have to change the permissions. It's just easier, I think, to like share like via email or like all together. You know, like it's, there's too much of a crazy paper trail of like all of like you own this thing. Y'all with me on this? Plus I want everyone to have their own copy because this happens all the time. Okay, when somebody's like, I don't have the paper. Well, so-and-so has the paper and they're absent. Everybody needs to have the paper Everybody needs to have all these documents, even though you all have different sections. So there you go. So number two, you can work on this by yourself or you can work on this like as a group, it's okay. But this is very short. This is like the, like the gist of the paper. Okay, I think back on past papers and one of my favorites of all time was that one that the girls did about C. diff and fecal matter. Okay, so here's the short end of the stick. What do I want kids to know? I can save your life. You won't die from C. diff because I'm going to give you a poop injection, okay, from a donor, and that poop will create good bacteria so the bad bacteria don't kill you, right? Boom, that's what I want you to know. That's that, that whole paper. I'll never forget it. Okay, a couple of years ago, uh, girls, I remember it was like Megan Seitz and who else was in that group? They had like a, 
a paper, it mostly dealt with physics, interestingly enough, about um, charcoal toothpaste, because that was kind of hot at the time, and regular toothpaste, like which is better? And the gist of that paper was, they were both pretty good. Like they both have some advantages. Like the charcoal is a little bit more gritty, so it like scrubs a little bit more, but the fluoride toothpaste has a little more power, you know, like, uh, it, so it was kind of interesting. Uh, okay, that's number two. Number three, what, it, what do you want students to know about your section? Okay, so your section, remember, the intro, intro is like, what are your experiments about? Okay, how are you, wh what do we know about it before? Like, what do we, you know, like, what are we trying to study? The methods, how we did it, the results, the numbers in the discussion, were we right, were we wrong? Okay, that kind of stuff. Okay, that's number three. Now, this is really hard. Summarize each section of the paper. You're going to do that. Now, I said one sentence. You can have more than one, okay? But don't just copy and paste from your paper, okay? Like, so, like, if I'm the introduction, I'll do mine, but I'll need to copy everyone else's from my paper. Y'all with me on this? And the rest of it. Okay, so this whole paper will be done, but you as an individual be working on your section. Am I explaining this? Monday at the end of class, I think we'll be fine. So like, you know, what you got five, 10, 15, 20, 15, 17 minutes now. Yes. Are you presenting class Monday too? Are you presenting a little